Uh, Michael Bell, 3317 13th Place, Kenosha. Uh, I'm here because uh, I do have some county business and I want to discuss. Um, not too long ago, I, uh, I provided some evidence to the medical examiner, Patrice Hall, and uh, she was uh, denied uh, an investigation into a police shooting. And um, not too long ago, I asked Joint Services to see some evidence regarding a police shooting, and uh, I was denied that also. Um, it had to do with more or less a police execution, and I use the word execution, it doesn't sound properly, but essentially a gun was placed directly to a 21-year-old man's head, and he was killed in front of his mother and sister. And so our family was forced to uh, conduct our own investigation because I couldn't get the county to do it. Back in November, I took out um, two full-page ads in the New York Times. And um, if you can imagine what it takes to call out uh, a history of corruption in Kenosha in the New York Times, it took all senior leadership at the New York Times, and it took their legal seven full days before they would give me permission to go ahead and run it. And one of the things that I ran in here is a photo of a bullet impact location that is in direct contradiction to all versions of the account from the police department that night. And that bullet impact location is important because we had to find it on our own. I had to send it off for testing to um, the most renowned ballistics expert in the nation. His name is um, Michael Hagg. And Michael Hagg actually wrote this book, a uh, college book on uh, ballistics reconstruction. That bullet impact location tested positive for lead. And just recently, uh, all the crime scene photos from that night showed that that bullet impact location has been there since 2004. Um, Mr. Hagg asked me to uh, get that bullet to be examined. And I approached the city, I approached the county, and uh, I was denied that right to have a piece of evidence examined uh, by Kenosha Mayor John uh, Antoni. I had to take it in front of, uh, I had to take it from the, in the court and I was denied access to that. And I wanted to say that I have a complaint that Joint Services allows people to walk in and look at evidence all the time. But when I got a legitimate beef where we want to take a look at a piece of evidence by a skilled expert and I'm denied, you have to question why. I'm going to tell you why. Because nobody would believe when Bill Cosby, America's dad, was accused of drugging and sexually assaulting 60 women. Nobody would believe that. And nobody would believe that Bernie Madoff, the president of NASDAQ, uh, was running a multi-million dollar Ponzi scheme. And I'm going to tell you right now that nobody believes that Mayor John Antaramian and John Morrissey are controlling a bullet that will implicate them in a murder. They are deliberately stalling the discovery of evidence to avoid prosecution in a police murder.